Hello, my Taurus friends. Elsie here to give you a reading for the next 48. Yep, we're going to find out what you're up against over the weekend. The next 48 hours for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I am your Taurus Sun reader. So welcome here if it's your first time. I'm Elsie. And um, yeah, we're just going to pull whatever's coming for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. A little snapshot into your weekend. Please re be reminded it is general reading. Okay, Taurus, what's going on? Somebody wants to be seen. What's going on? Ooh, nostalgia. Okay. Hmm, queens in reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to be seen. Ooh, but they think they're going to get their ass kicked. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we are looking at uh, fire energy, right? We're all surrounded by fire. Uh, we've got the, the six of wands, the queen of wands in reverse. We've got uh, the uh, chariot and we have the knight of wands in reverse. I think something is about to happen really quickly and I think that might be the reason why this queen of wands may be on her head, but I, I also feel like maybe somebody who wants to be seen by this queen feels like the queen might be out of sorts or might use harsh words or harsh energy. When the queen's in reverse, she's um, she doesn't really care what you want. <laughs> she really is just taking care of herself. She's kind of working from ego. She's a little bit of a renegade. She can go rogue. You know, that's the kind of energy. So... I feel like whoever is in this energy, um, it could be someone who is Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but we do have in a general reading here, somebody who has been through a lot, who's coming towards you, Taurus, because they've, they, they're returning. They're coming back to their village. This guy's coming back to the village, the love tribe, whatever it is. This, I, I say guy, cause I, I feel like I see a masculine on this um, on this card, but I mean, it's masculine or feminine, right? Depending um, on where the energy is that you're dealing in. But I really feel what's happening here, though, is that, that yeah, somebody is coming in after a, a really hard time because this guy's coming back after winning the fight and the war, right? So he's he's coming back after a long period of time of being away. And um, this here is matching the one he's got on his head here so you know back in the day back in the medieval day that they would uh, the the um the son the mother of the son would make these uh wreaths for the heads of those to be betrothed that's what it used to be not not a an, an expensive gauge engagement ring but the 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 matriarch of of the uh, masculine's family would actually make wreaths and when they left the house that thereafter after they were betrothed they must wear the wreath right so everyone knows you know to keep their hands off but i feel like this person that's coming in is really coming in um looking pretty good considering what they've been through and i also feel as though they're expecting that you're not going to be in the greatest mood taurus this I feel like you have very different and opposite opinions of this person. Like, it's almost like maybe you two are the opposites on the astrological chart. So I'm not sure who's opposite of Taurus, but if you do know, if you can put it in the, in the, um, in the comments below, that would be great. So not only is there fast moving energy here and someone who really wants victory, but I feel like someone is going to take a chance and, um, they're going to do it in the future, but I feel like this person right now is um, dealing with other things, putting out other fires. Yeah, this person's moving really quickly uh, to victory. So I feel as though it's like one fire starts, they put out that fire victory, go to the next fire. That's what I feel like it is. I feel like it's a series of small fires. You know this person. You know them from a last life or you know them from... Um, from earlier in this life. They've got secrets though here, Taurus. Ooh, that's the secret. Tower implosion, yep. There is a big shake up here. This person's coming in with a lot of secrets, something about a tower at work that broke their heart. Something they were working on broke their heart and they had to heal. 
and now they're coming in with some sort of an apology Taurus all right then let's see next 48 for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter there was no growth where this person was whoever this is to you the six of wands Aries Sagittarius or Leo um, there is no growth there anymore. This person realized that although they were in uh, in a place that made them um, feel secure-ish, you know, happy-ish. I think there's a lot of ish. Yeah, I just see Charlie just gave me, you know, a gif. I, I saw it like it was on Facebook and it had a line, a dash, and then it said ish and he kept putting ish-ish. It's kind of funny. Charlie is, for those of you who don't know, he is my main guide and he is the one who feeds me information from all of my archangels. So we have here, um, we have the sun. Yeah, I feel like somebody wasn't growing. There was no, no more growth here, no financial, personal, um, professional, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. There was no more growth, so this person left. And I think it was quite an ordeal for them to get out of it, to be honest. Um, I feel like this person's still feeling like things aren't going to work in their favor. They've been thinking about the queen and whether she is in the reverse or not, Taurus. They want to know, are you in a bad mood? <laughs> are you in a good mood? <laughs> are you the good witch or the bad witch? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I have way too much fun with what I do. Okay, so we have the hermit here. And um, I feel like, yeah, this this person that's coming back to you, Taurus, uh, this person has been in heavy thought about you. And I think they're having kind of not only thoughts about you, Taurus, but they're really they're really going over the details of past and, and present, I feel, to uh, wondering if they want to speak to you about whatever their, whatever kind of way they're feeling about you know this that they don't have any any growth where they are they they're looking to grow looking to have victory and they want to talk to you about that they're not sure if they should come in taurus i don't know why they think you're in such a bad mood what's the deal <laughs> why do they think you're so mean taurus <laughs> ah the king of wands okay so it is a king of wands who is looking for his mate. He sees someone who is the absolute reflection of him. Yeah, someone who likes the things he likes, someone who believes the things he may believe. I say he because we now have female, we have feminine and masculine energy here, right? Predominant. So I feel as though, yeah, the king of wands is ready to spill his guts. Yeah, that's what it is ready to spill his guts he has been healing and i feel that there is some sort of something going on here yeah cards flying everywhere we've got a new path and passion there's good news coming about healing i feel like someone's coming in to heal the connection with you someone who wants to take you out and have fun with you and flirt and be silly and you know go on this new path of passion explore it see what's there is it a path of passion I mean, you know, it looks like there's bloom on this on this uh, this one wand here, and I feel as though somebody has um, decided that they maybe want an, a non-traditional. They're thinking about a non-traditional union or relationship, something that is that is not uh, that is not. Um, typical structure and when I say typical structure you know I talk about tradition right so the typical structure and tradition of the family is a heterosexual couple who have children well that's not happening here these 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 folks here I feel you Taurus and your person I feel that you're not traditional people and that might be why Taurus is in the reverse it could be um maybe something to do with your energy that might be why the queen is is in the reverse i don't think so though that's not what it feels like it feels like a lot of things are coming to the surface and being realized taurus realized about how you never fit into to, to tradition how tradition really isn't you and maybe it is time to have some new experiences heal the tradition and have some new experiences yeah i feel like um somebody who maybe was in a third party is no longer whether married or dating and they have a lot of feelings for you taurus there you go 
Someone who was not, ooh, dealing, someone, ooh, someone who's dealing with the Empress in reverse. Um, the High Priestess. Oh, you know it, Taurus. You understand this person's been dealing. They've been disconnected from you, Taurus, because they've been trying to hold down an Empress in reverse. Oh, Lordy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to go. Here we go. Let me know in the in the in the comments below. Let me know what's happening for your weekend. I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a lovely weekend, Taurus. And I'm gonna go for now. Thank you. Bye bye.